Welcome back. In my previous video, I promised that I'm going to give you um, examples about some and different identities, but uh, I forgot that I have one more to go over. Um, the sum and difference formulas for tangent, that is what I'm going to do today. Okay, and then I hope next time then we will have um, the examples. Okay, um, tangent a plus b, we know that we have tangent. Oh, I don't have any tan. Then we have tangent alpha plus bet beta is equal to sine alpha plus beta divided by cosine alpha plus beta. And we know that uh, sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cosine beta plus uh, so, uh, cosine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha uh, cosine beta minus sine alpha sine sorry beta but we need tangent that's why I don't want any cosine in the numerator. So if I'm going to, for example, I will show you here. If I'm going to divide sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta with uh, I always forget cosine that. with cosine alpha and cosine beta we can do this so that the cosine beta will uh, become 1 in the first term will be cancelled and cosine alpha in the second term Will become will become one also. Then we have tangent there already. We do the same with the numerator or the denominator. Sorry for the denominator. So we have cosine alpha cosine beta subtracted by sine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta this is allowed because uh, cosine alpha cosine beta and cos divided by cosine alpha cosine beta will become one actually okay so if we're going to expand out that now it will look like this we have sine alpha cosine beta divided by uh, cosine alpha cosine beta minus um, cosine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta divided by I will put like that because I don't have any uh, space there and for that denominator we have cosine alpha cosine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta subtracted by sine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta then cosine beta here like what I said, it is 1. They will be cancelled. Then we have tangent alpha minus 
I should not have that. I will remove that later. Minus uh, cosine alpha will become 1 there. So we have tangent beta divided by. This will become 1. This will become 1. Then we have 1 minus uh, tangent alpha tangent beta um i did something wrong here this should be plus because it's plus there okay then we have plus there so we have tangent alpha plus beta is equal to tangent alpha plus tangent beta and then we have one minus tangent alpha tangent beta it is the same with tangent alpha minus beta I'm not going to show you that in this video because you know already with 1 plus beta. Okay, uh, like I promised, uh, in my next video, I will be giving you more examples. And not more examples, I will be starting to solve examples. But before I'm going to end, I am going to discuss more about these uh, cofunctions. Uh, cofunction, I... I gave you briefly about this last time when I'm going to, when I was about to um, give you the proof of uh, um, cosine, some indifference of uh, the cosine function. Okay, identities. I gave you this one. That means we have here. We have here sine theta is equal to cosine uh, pi over 2 minus theta and its cofunction is the same. So cofunction of sine is cosine, cofunction of tangent is cotangent. So cofunction of second is cosecant. Um, if you don't understand this, I can explain a little bit. So if I have this one for example this is uh, pi over 6 and this is pi over 3 or 30 degrees and uh, 60 degrees we know that we know that this is 2 this is 1 now and then it's square root of 3 so if I'm going to see sine pi over 6 then I have one half. But that is also the same as sine, uh, not sine, cosine. With another pen might be. Cosine pi over three, as you can see there. Mm -hmm. And uh, What gives this is that if I'm going to put now sine pi over 2 minus uh, pi over 3, that's, that's pi over 6 is equal to, that will become, cosine pi over 3 because our theta now is pi over 3 and this is our theta a very brief explanation of, about cofunction but the, the thing that I want you to understand is that sine and cosine they are cofunctions and tangent and cotangent they are cofunctions and second and coseconds they are cofunctions you will use this always they are basic identities. So, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. And uh, watch out for my next video where I will be solving some examples regarding the cofunctions and uh, the sum and difference of two angles identities. And uh, 
See you around. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.